for example, to, uh, for the endometriosis, the size and symptom is the pain, period pain and pain during uh, have the sex together or during the period, some patients have the pain in the bottom or anus. That will really important. Please go to see your doctor. Uh, and the other one is the fibroid. Fibroid is uh, usually have uh, pressure effect to the blood or to the rectum. In case the fibroid uh, go to inside the womb, it can cause the heavy period or spotting. Please go to see your doctor also. Uh, we focus to the female age. Any female age less than 35, please try regularly for one year. If nothing happens, please go to see your gynecologist. And if the female is more than 35, uh, we accept about six months try before go to have the consultation. In case the patient try the simple way of treatment is not success, the last step is uh, to have fertilization outside the body. Most of the case, we love to ask the patient female to have the hormonal injection and then we collect the eggs uh, from the patient. Usually we love to have about 12 to 15 eggs to get the good prognosis to have the baby. And in case some patients have over response for special case of female is uh, the patient have polycystic ovary and sometimes have the abnormal period we call PCOS. Uh, after hormonal stimulation 5 to 10 percent, the patient can have over respond. It's about 5 to 10 percent. It's the patient can have 20 or 30 eggs and a lot of complications. For example, severe ovarian hyperstimulation or HSS. The patient have the water in the tummy and pain and distension that sometimes uh, have the serious side effect. This one is good candidate in case the patient have uh, the OSSS, the IVM. IVM is mean that we not let the egg mature in the patient body. We take the egg out from the uh, from the patient before mature and to mature outside. We call in vitro maturation. That prevent the, the effect, the side effect from OSSS, and also have the benefit in case of the patient have low egg, low number of the eggs. For example, the patient have two, three eggs, and we can uh, have IVM to get two or three extra mature egg is a lot of benefit. It means that IVM is good mainly for the over respond or under respond. For excep exceptional case in this hospital that uh, we have been treated for a couple of patients is uh, complete, the patient have complete treatment of the breast carcinoma and the patient would like to have the baby with low egg post to the low estrogen. The patient would like to take the egg out and to mature outside the body without any hormonal stimulation. We have been a couple of patients from for this condition. And the others, we have one patient have deep vein thrombosis before. She would like to expose any high level of estrogen to avoid repeated deep vein thrombosis and the patient love to take the egg out from her body at immature state and to have the IVM to get mature egg outside and to make the embryo and transfer it, uh, inside the womb to have the baby. We have successful for a couple of patients. Uh, most of the patients, uh, they seek IVM by themselves from the website, very smart. And the last one is partial treatment. After hormonal stimulation, and the follicle stopped to grow because uh, the, the assumption is the, the follicle might have antibody to block even we give the hormonal treatment is not grow. Yeah, and the patient seek come back to do IVM here. It means that we have hormonal stimulation about five days and then we take the egg out at immature state uh, to couch on outside to do IVM program to get mature egg. Finally, she have the baby. We're lucky. Uh, the IVM success, we need to accept that uh, 
for the one embryos at this hospital in case of the uh, after hormonal stimulation we get the mature egg we mix with the sperm we make the embryos usually day two day three embryos the implantation is mean that one embryo turned to be a baby is about 20 percent for the IVM is drop just 12 percent yeah after IVM usually we put more embryo in to get the good number of pregnancy usually we put two or three embryos for the in vitro maturation in case of uh, the patient have full hormonal stimulation and to have the mature egg usually we put one in not more than two for the IVM we put two or three embryos in to get the success rate nearly the same about 30 percent uh, IVM is mean that uh, we take the egg out at immature state uh, to couch on outside to get the mature state. This is uh, we call IVM. After we get the mature state, after that is the same with conventional method of IVF. IVF is uh, usually uh, we ask the patient uh, to have hormonal stimulation and we get the egg at mature state from the patient. After that we mix with the sperm and to create the embryo the same. The IVM is, uh, we recommend the first one, any patient have the hormonal stimulation and develop OSAS is serious complication. This is the first candidate. The second one is uh, the patient uh, have polycystic ovary or PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome. And the third one is uh, low responder. Any patient have the treatment with the low number of the egg is a good candidate to have extra mature egg from the IVM and any complete treatment of, above the breast cancer to avoid uh, the exposure to high estrogen level of a treatment or deep vein thrombosis or any case that the third one that we have told you before is a partial response after hormonal stimulation. For the IVM, I think that's worldwide is uh, nearly 10,000 baby born. No any uh, extra uh, anomaly compared with the natural conception for uh, compared with the IVF. The IVM is uh, we recommend the first one. Any patient have the hormonal stimulation and develop OSAS is serious complication. This is the first candidate. The second one is uh, the patient uh, have polycystic ovary or PCOS polycystic ovary syndrome. And the third one is uh, low responder. Any patient have the treatment with the low number of the egg is a good candidate to have extra mature egg from the IVM. And any complete treatment of, above the breast cancer to avoid uh, the exposure to high estrogen level of a treatment or deep vein thrombosis or any case that the third one that we have told you before is a partial response after hormonal stimulation.